Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about continuation of the second order system. So before entering into the topic, just look at so what are the inputs we are studying. The we have to discuss the stability of those inputs. First input is the impulse signal del of t. Impulse signal. What is the meaning of transient state? Transient state means it is possible it should be available at t equal to 0. What is the meaning of steady state? t must be reaches to infinite. Okay. So for impulse signal transient state is available and steady state state is doesn't available for the impulse. Right. And what is stability stability not exists not exist why because if, if you look at the impulse signal impulse signal is look like this that means at t equal to 0 at t equal to 0 this become the infinite this become area is become infinite the magnitude is become infinite that's why the signal which consisting of the infinite magnitude it doesn't have any stability that's why it is not exist next signal unit step signal so for unit stress unit step signal it is it consisting of the transient state and it consisting of the steady state and the stability it also having the stable system it is also the stable system compare with the impulse in compare with the impulse the unit step is the stable system why it is stable system so if you draw the unit step signal is like this unit step signal generally varies like this yes that means here it is the it consisting of the finite area but it is here infinite area where is the magnitude is finite automatically it exists the stability next signal is the ramp signal ramp signal here a ramp signal which consisting of the transient state and it also having the steady state and but it doesn't have the stability because just observe here for ramp signal the magnitude is like this what is this meaning for ramp signal the magnitude will be for time period t equal infinite it become infinite magnitude infinite magnitude so for that condition stability doesn't exist because it is called unbounded signal the name itself it is unbounded signal so we can call it as this is also the unbounded signal it is also sorry but for unit step it is a bounded signal it has particular limits but for the for the ramp it is a unbounded signal okay right what about parabola parabola system is this is also consisting of the transient state and it also consisting of the steady state and it doesn't have the stable stability why so for parabola system the magnitude will be increases like this so this represents with p of t and it is the t if you observe here this is not unbounded it is increases to infinite that's why it is also a unbounded system so the unbounded system doesn't have the stable only bounded system have only stable that's why we are using the unit step system having only bounded system okay so 
why why we are discussing all these signals means so by observing the above all these signals if you observe clearly here we have only unit step signal u of t signal having transient state steady state as well as stable unit u of t signal is only the stable system so to analyzing the stable system is very interesting thing so to analyzing that to understand the unstable system is the difficult thing generally okay so better to study them so that's why we as we better to select the study the unit step signal okay and and this you have to apply this unit step signal to the for the second order system second order system yes and it will give some output it has some output and you have to study apply the unit step signal for the second order system for the condition of which damping ratio we have to select zero less than zeta less than when that means that second order system must be in under damped case under damped case then the understanding the second order system is very easy so that's why we have we are chosen the unit step signal okay so this is about different different inputs applied to the second order system stability and we are selected to study the which type of damping and which type of signal for the second order system okay so here input is unit step selected if you are applying the second order system how the output behaves what is the output we need to discuss here so here we are selecting the input the input is u of t u of t means unit step signal and is applied to the second order system but what is the damping damping value should be selected zero less than zeta less than 1 yeah that's we need to find out so here we are applying the signal u of t u of t input to the system is second order system second order system and which which consisting of the zeta value zero less than zeta value 1 and we need to find out the c of t output we need to find out output value we should find out yes so here generally for second order system you know the transfer function for second order system transfer function is c of s by r of s equal to the omega n square plus omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square this is for second order system so here we are using input is u of t but what about so input generally we can name it as r of t by applying the laplace transform r of s equal 1 by s so here we need to find out c of s generally so the output c of s equal to omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square into r of s r of s means 1 by s so this is the 1 by s so from here you can find out directly so if you apply if you simplify this expression and apply the inverse laplace transform finally you will get the output waveform for this c of t equal 1 minus e power zeta omega n t by root of 1 minus zeta square into sin omega dt plus phi dt plus phi okay 
so this is the output waveform we are getting whenever unit step input is applied to the second order system which consisting of damping ratio between 0 and 1 we will get this output waveform we will get this output waveform so if you draw the curve for this c of t we will get c of t curve waveform is like this the waveform so this is the c of t waveform so this is the unit step signal and this signal is the input as the final destination and the waveform is look like this the waveform is it will be it's look like this waveform understand this waveform is varies like this so once again we will redraw this finally reach the output here finally reach the output here that means it start from 0 and it will reach to peak value and the, the oscillations is like this but the oscillations will be decreases oscillations will be decreases and it will reach to to the final value of the 1 final value of the 1 okay so this is for t this is for the t right here this is the output waveform and zeta you know damping ratio omega n you know all these terms zeta is damping ratio omega n natural frequency zeta damping ratio omega d damping or damping frequency phi is the phase phi is the phase these all terms you know that so these simplification you have to done the simplification but no need to simplification here just the equation is important that is e power minus zeta omega and t by under root of 1 minus zeta square sin omega d d t plus phi okay this is about the different different of inputs and we are selected unit step signal and by selecting the unit step signal we will get the output value this is the output value Okay, I hope all of you understand the session. Thank you.